Hello, my name is Jan, and today I want to talk to you about the differences between lines and polar lines, and why you will become a fan of using polar lines, just like most of them are. First, let me zoom on the area of the drawing to give us some room to work with, okay? So now I'm going to draw a line. Of course, you can go into GUI on top and select a line. The other way to, to draw a line, just type L on your keyboard and you can draw a line. So I just draw a line. And now what happens if you want to modify the line? So you can grab one section of it and you can move it because they are not a one group. So the differences in using polar line or P lines is once you start drawing it, notice that at the lower left corner of your screen, you have many more options. Let's say I want to type A for arc. And now, every time I click, I create the L. Then if I type L to line, I can continue with the line. And then if I'm going to come in here and say C for close, it will close that polygon. Now, here's the difference. Now, if I select this polar line, now I can move it. I can change the arc. And it is much more intuitive for me to pull and stretch using polar lines. The other thing you can do is called P edit or polar line edit. So polar line edit, I can select that and I can come in here and I can insert vertices. Uh, I can join, let's say, edit vertex. So now it starts with this first one where there is a crosshair. And if I say next, it will go to the next one and I can say M for move and I'll move it right here so you can modify it. But that's not the only thing you can do. Let's say you wanna change width of this polyline. So you just type W, oops, sorry. Let's start from the beginning. Let's say P edit for editing the polar line. Select this polar line. And instead of doing vertices, all I want to do is change the width of this polar line. By typing W and point three, now it's got the width. So now if I select this polar line again, I can move it whole thing. I can modify it. I can change individual vertices, insert vertices. So it is much more powerful than just straight lines. Don't get me wrong, lines has its place. But if I'm gonna create a complex shape, go P edit again, I can do much more with it than just moving individual segment. I can do many, many, many more things with polar line than you can with just the line. Let's change the width to 0.15 so it's not as thick polar lines are much more user-friendly and you can modify them much more than just lines. So, become a fan of polar lines instead of lines.